hey guys down here and welcome back to another video and this is the third video in snapseed tutorial so in this video i will show you how to achieve color isolation or selective color effect in snapseed so this technique been here for a very long time but still there is no direct method to create this effect in snapseed but following few steps you can achieve this effect pretty easily so let's open snapseed and click on that plus icon and select an image from gallery I'm gonna choose this one playing card image because this effect is pretty popular on cards photography and if you tap on looks there are already some preset for black and white I'm going to choose this one so after selecting that the image will turn into complete black and white but in this case I want the air and hearts needs to be in its red color so I'm gonna simply erase the effect from there by tapping on the layer kind icon at the top then tap on view edits here you can see the black and white effect done onto the image and other effects which is done by the preset. Here click on black and white and tap on brush. Now you have to paint the effect onto the image but if you click on the invert icon you can erase the effect from whole image which is the most convenient way in this case. So it has the effect that you want to introduce color is so easy because the background is white in this case. But if you're dealing with an object which has complex edges, then take your time on that. After you're done with erasing, click that tick icon. Now the effect is complete, but you can do the rest of the edits if you want. I'm going for a vintage sphere kind of look, and usually dark looks great in this effect. So dropping shadows will help to get that. Also, you can get that awesome sphere look by making image more warmer and if the color needs to pop more you can increase the saturation and one thing i also do is is decreasing the detail of the image by lowering the structure if any noise happens to be in this image so this is how the final image looks like so drop a like if you found this video useful subscribe if you love to see more videos from me and also tag me at around here when you post any photos in twitter instagram or facebook if you use this effect on any of your photos social media links will be in the description so that's it for this video thanks a lot for watching and i will see you in the next one